Rasmus, uh, coaches told us a number of times that you're very hard on yourself, and sometimes you get in your own head. But the last three, four weeks, you've been back to yourself. You've been playing, you know, the way you, you know you can. Did you kind of have to get out of your head a little bit, and just get back to not worrying about if you score, or you don't, or just playing hot? Yeah, hundred percent. I think you uh, you said it right there. Uh, I'm I'm always uh, hard on myself and trying to get better, and you know, always want to perform at hundred percent and at my best. And yeah, like you said, I've been in my own head a little bit, and uh, obviously it's it's tough when you're not score for for fifty games when that's the expectation on you. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think since since All Star break, I I've been really finding myself again and, and playing the way I should. Is it just understanding that you just need to be you? doesn't, you know, whether it's being a two-way forward and the goals, whatever, that's all going to take care of itself? Yeah, yeah, and for me, you know, I need to find a really high, lowest standard, if you know what I mean, like, I need to come in every night and Donnie needs to know what he gets from me every single night, even if I have a good night or a bad night, he needs to know what he gets from me, and, and that's the important thing for me as a player, and, you know, it's my first full season in NHL, too, and the last two seasons I've been struggling, too, with after 30 games, I'm getting mentally tired. I'm a little physical tired. So I think it's just been, for me, just figure out how to be an NHL player for a full 82 games. And I think I'm starting to, you know, find the key things to, to be that, that type of player. Are you able to share some, what some of those things are that you need to do? You know, with the travel, like my first couple trips to the west side and the time changes and back-to-backs, like it's, it's, it's hard. You know, you need to be almost like a like a robot. And that's the thing I, I've been been learning and, and, and really learn from a from a guy like Oposo. You know, he comes into the rink every like same time every every day, does the same things like like a robot, like I said. And I think that's a, a thing for me that I didn't do uh, from start of December till the last star break. I started to, you know, do different things and all that. But now, you know, I, I all my days look the same and I think that helps me mentally and physically to be to be ready to play at a high level every night. But through it all was it a relief when that puck went in the net for yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. It was uh, a lot of weight that uh, got well, got away from my shoulders there. What, what's been your view on what's made this team closer um, this year? Just just the bond that you guys seem to be having fun playing hockey. Yeah, you know, uh, all the all the way from from uh, from training camp, we we set the bar high. Uh, expectations were high. We we know that we need to to be at a certain level every day to be a successful team. And I think that's what been uh, showing results of now the last couple of games. As far as your, your goal drought, what was, what was the mental toll, I guess? You were kind of talking about it, but just when you scored your entire life, as we've kind of talked about, I mean, it's not, it's not easy to, to go that long. No, no, it's it's tough. You know, uh, even when you get your chances, it's you're always a little hesitant or overthinking it, and you have, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna shoot, what I'm gonna do. Like, it's just stuff that gets stuck in your head, you know, and it's hard to get rid of. But you know, once you score, like I did two games ago, it's it goes away like like that. So, you know, it's tough, but it goes away quick too. How beneficial is it, Rasmus, that you don't have a coach who's going to? put you in the press box and make you watch a game because you have a difficult one. I mean, Donnie, with you or any of the other young guys, he lets you sort of, he lets you play through it, and there's a different approach to him teaching you guys that this is what you need to do to have success in the NHL. Yeah, yeah, and that helped me a lot, and I'm, I'm ungrateful for it too, you know. Uh, I think, like you said, if Donnie doesn't have the approach you having to, to all of our younger guys, you know, I will probably be in the press box for a couple of games during this stretch that I didn't score. So I'm, I'm grateful for that, and, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I've been figuring it out and, and playing well now. Thank you. All right, thank you.